As you all know, I have a bit of a bag fetish. It's a bit of a problem, but you know, we all have problems. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today is, with regret, my first autumn video. Oh, I just hate autumn winter. I don't hate autumn so much, but I just resent it because it means that winter's coming and I'm just such a summer girl. I love summer, I wish summer could last forever. However, the only thing that like kind of gets me through it is fashion because it's just the only good thing about it, okay? There is a little part of me, I say this every year, a very small part of me that does get excited for jumpers and boots and snuggly coats and cute hats. So if you feel the same way that I do, then I hope my channel can be a small source of comfort for you as we transition through the seasons. And I'm not totally out of summer mode yet by any means, but I do think it's a good idea to be like a step ahead of the game. And you guys have already been asking me, am I going to be doing an autumn haul week this year? And the answer is of course, yes, if all goes to plan, haul week will be next week. So basically, if you are new here today or recently, every autumn, winter and spring, summer, I do an entire week of hauls, a different haul from a different one of my favorite brands every single day for a week. It's crazy. So make sure you have your notifications and your purse slash PayPal ready for next week. You are going to need it. So as during haul week, I focus mainly on high street affordable fashion. Today, I wanted to bring you something totally different. And I'm going to be talking you through my top five uh, luxury staples for your autumn winter wardrobe. So it's no secret that I love to indulge in the finer things in life occasionally, but as you also probably know, I rarely go out and buy a designer dress or a designer blouse or a designer skirt or something like that. I always stick to classic staple items I think I will get a lot of wear out of. If I could buy designer for everything that I put on my body, then I would, but it's not really sensible, especially as so much is trend-led. So it's definitely a better idea to put Put your money into staple classic items that you can pair with so many different things and get a lot of wear out of and that will stay in style so you can wear them for years to come. My video today is partly in collaboration with Farfetch which is one of my favorite designer boutique websites. They have probably one of the biggest selections of designer items and brands online and the way it works is so cool because I feel like this is probably why it's called Farfetch because they fetch all the items from afar so every single thing that you buy is actually sourced from a different store or department store all around the world. So when you order a few things, for example, I ordered a pair of boots, they were coming from France, I ordered a coat that came from Italy, and I ordered a pair of shoes that came from Browns in London. So I love the way it works, it feels really, really special, and they just have the most amazing selection. Literally every brand that you could really ask for, Valentino, Chloe, Burberry, everything. So a couple of the items that I show in the video I did buy with a voucher given to me by Farfetch, but most are actually just my own things because I just really wanted to show you what I think are my autumn winter wardrobe staples. So let's get straight into it. So my first autumn winter wardrobe staple is of course a beautiful coat. Unfortunately, we spend about six months of the year minimum wearing them pretty much every day. So I think in a classic style and a versatile color, it's pretty much the best thing that you can put your money into because you could wear it over absolutely anything. It could be the cheapest, most basic outfit, but you throw this on and instantly look stylish and expensive always. And I would also say that over time, it's a good idea to get yourself an autumn coat and a winter coat because obviously the weather isn't always the same. Sometimes it's a little bit warmer, sometimes chillier, and you want to have options. But realistically, unless you're overly extra and you're super into fashion, you want to wear something different all the time, like me, in which case I would go to the high street, for your staple coat, you only need one, or in this case, two for autumn, winter. So the coats I wanted to show you today was first of all, of course, my beautiful classic Burberry trench coat. This is the epitome of classic style to me. These coats have just never not been stylish, even going back to like the 60s or even the 50s or probably even before, and they are still just as stylish and effortless today. I bought this last year after wanting it for literally years, and I know it's a purchase that I'll never regret, because in 10 years, 20 years, I'm sure I'll still be wearing it. And the color is so versatile that I can wear this with literally any outfit in my wardrobe. There's like an actual way to tie this. The guy in Burberry showed me and I can't remember now. It's like a cool Burberry way 
to tie it. Another thing I really like about this is you can wear it um, casually and also for an occasion. So you could just wear this as a day-to-day -day coat, but I've also worn this when I've been going out in the evening with like a beautiful dress on and heels and it still looks just as good wearing it as an evening coat. So yeah, I started off with this first because like I said, I just think it's the epitome of a wardrobe staple, something that you will have forever I'm hoping, provided I stay the same size. <laughs> and for a winter coat, this was one of my far-fetched purchases. I was shopping in Selfridges with Josie, we were just actually killing some time because we had a meeting together, and I saw this hanging up in Chloe, and I said to Josie, oh my god, I need that coat. Look at the back. I just think this is one of the most stunning, unique designs while still remaining very classic and quite understated. When I think of Chloe, I just immediately picture very bohemian, summery vibes, and I never really considered them for my winter wardrobe, but I just fell in love with this coat. And if you could feel it, then you would fall in love with it too. It's a beautiful wool wrap coat. When I put this on to try it on, I was sweating in like two minutes because it is so warm and cozy and I cannot wait when it's a really, really cold, chilly day to put this on, wrap this round me like a dressing gown and be so cozy and toasty. The color is fabulous. It's a beautiful, like peachy nude color. So again, I feel like this will go with so many things. You could wear this with dark colors as well as light colors. And the thing that I loved the most about it and that caught my eye in Selfridges was the back. Do you guys know, I think if you've been watching a long time, you know, I love a cape detail. Basically, if it has a cape, I'm in. And I just think this is so beautiful. It just looks so elegant. And although it is like a unique kind of statement part of the coat, I feel like it's still very understated and sophisticated. And I said this last year and everyone is like, Freddie, what are you talking about? But I don't actually have a very warm coat in my wardrobe. The only warm coat I have is my puffer jacket that I bought to go to the snow in. And it's not really something that I would want to wear in London to be stylish. So I am so excited to wear this. And again, like with the Burberry trench coat, I feel like this is something that I will have forever. Like this is a grown up coat and I'll have this when I'm like, 30, 40, 50. I feel like this is something that any age group would look fabulous in because it's so timeless and elegant. And you could essentially buy your entire autumn winter wardrobe from Primark, Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing, and just invest in one incredible piece to just totally up the game of all of your outfits. So number one wardrobe staple coat, check. My second staple is a great pair of boots. If you buy a cheap pair of boots, they're pretty much gonna last you a season. Buy a great high quality pair of boots, they could last you a lifetime. And of course, my preference is always over the knee boots. I think they are the most stylish footwear. And if you watched my video from a couple of weeks back, you'll know that I hate wearing black tights. I think they destroy outfits and over the knee boots look so much better. Of course, if they're not your thing, you could go for a gorgeous pair of ankle boots, Chelsea boots, but I feel like we all pretty much need a good pair of boots in autumn winter. For me, personally, over the last few years, I've pretty much exclusively worn over the knee boots. And for that reason, I do have them in a few different colors to go with all of my different outfits. I know most of the time I do say that I'm very anti-black clothes, but a classic black boot is a wardrobe staple. And these I got from uh, Bloomingdale's in New York last year. They were the best things that ever happened to me. Um, the brand is Mark Fisher. If anybody wants to check them out, I am in love with these boots. Uh, these gray ones I bought in Macy's when I was in LA two years ago now. Again, they have just been the best, best boots I could ask for. I've worn them to death and they are in pristine condition. Then also in New York last winter, I bought these from Lord & Taylor, the brand is Tahari. And if you guys remember, my sole shopping goal in New York was to find the perfect pair of brown over the knee boots. And I said, if I have to spend the money on Stuart Weitzman boots, I'm gonna do it because I know that I'm gonna get the wear out of them. Stuart Weitzman at that point last year were not doing any brown, any brown boots at all. Maybe they just had some stilettos, but none of the classic kind of block heel arm and toes whatsoever and I ended up finding these absolutely love them I got tons of wear out of them but they still were not the perfect brown that I was looking for so when I was browsing Farfetch the other day my heart literally skipped a beat because I saw that Stuart Weitzman had several pairs of brown 
over the knee boots. You don't even understand how exciting this is because as an over the knee boot connoisseur, I'm gonna tell you right now that it's hard to find good over the knee boots. And when you find a pair and they're good, they're amazing, but they're hard to find ones that fit nicely um, around the leg and the ankle and everything. And these guys just know how to do it. And the only color that really is missing in my wardrobe is a nice warm brown pair. And after this, my boot wardrobe is complete for life. I think for now. So here they are. Aren't they magnificent? Such a beautiful colour, literally the exact colour that I was looking for. I think they're so beautiful, they're gonna go with so many outfits. The heel height is perfect, the toe is perfect. I love it because there's no zip. Usually um, a lot of over the knee boots do have zips and they just kind of ruin the line of the fabric on your leg, but these don't have a zip and they just have a nice kind of tie at the back so you can really pull it in and secure it to your leg. Just a tip if you're thinking of buying them, I think they do actually come up quite big. I'm a five and a half, like a five to six. I ordered a six to be safe, but they are too big. So I'm going to have to return these and get a five. But on the whole, they are a dream. I'm just going to slip into one. I love how high these come up. I feel like they come up a little bit higher than some of my other boots. And look how great they look, even with this dress, which I've been wearing as like a late summer dress with a pair of strappy sandals. And they just instantly add like 50 style points to an outfit. And like I always say, you can take an affordable high street outfit, pair it with some amazing shoes and a good quality accessory, and suddenly your entire look looks luxury and expensive. The dress, by the way, is Zara. I know I'm going to get so many questions. <laughs> For staple number three, I of course have to talk about my favorite thing in the world, bags. As you all know, I have a bit of a bag fetish. It's a bit of a problem, but you know, we all have problems. Today I'm going to show you my top two designer bag recommendations, especially for autumn winter. Although they're both incredible summer bags as well, and they can both be found at Farfetch. However, they are actually both my own bags that I love and use all the time. So the first one is my Prada Galleria bag. I bought this at Vista Village in autumn 2017. So coming up to two years and again, a purchase that I just do not regret in the slightest. This, like the Burberry trench coat, to me is like the epitome of a classic handbag. This color was actually discontinued at the time, hence why it was in Vista Village, but I think they've actually brought this exact color back, um, which is very exciting. And I can totally see why, because I think out of any color, apart from black maybe, this is the most classic handbag color you could possibly get. The Galleria bags are an absolute staple for Prada, and Prada is a staple brand in terms of bags. It's far from a trend bag. In fact, as you can see, it's not very trendy at all, but those are the types of bags to put your money into rather than the bags that are gonna come and go, like for example, the Gucci Marmot bag, those velvet kind of crossbodies. Where are they now? Just saying. And the current like it bag is this weird bag and it's like a sack. So not something that I would ever put a lot of money into. However, this I would buy 10 times over because I know I'm going to have this in my life for such a long time. And like I said, with the Burberry coats, when I'm 30, 40, 50, I will probably still love this bag. And I think that this bag will still be stylish in all of those years to come, a bit like the Hermes Kelly and Birkins. I feel like this has that kind of classic status. And while the Prada is a beautiful everyday bag, I don't really think that this works for evenings or occasions. So I wanted to talk about my favorite evening bag, which is of course my beloved Chloe Drew bag. Would it actually be a Freddie My Love luxury fashion video without mentioning this bag? And I am worried that you're all sick of hearing about it, but at the end of the day, I'm just keeping it real because if you spend this kind of money on a bag, then you bet you wanna be talking about it as much as I talk about this and use it. I've said it before and I will say it again, this is probably my best bag of all time. A great thing that Josie always talks about when it comes to luxury purchases is cost per wear. And that means that you divide the amount that the item cost by the number of times that you wore it. And you want to keep that number as low as possible. So say this bag was a thousand pounds, but you've only worn it twice. That's 500 pounds per wear. That's way too much. But if you've worn this bag probably a thousand times like I have, then it's only a pound per wear and it's totally worth it. And I can honestly say out of everything that I own, luxury, and non-luxury, this is my most worn thing in the world. And the reason is it goes with absolutely everything. It's a magic bag. It's like a chameleon. It goes with every single color because the color is so versatile. I mean, instantly look how 
amazing this looks together. Also, it's a great day to night bag. This looks just as good with jeans and a t-shirt in the daytime as it does with a beautiful evening gown for an occasion. And also, it looks good with so many different styles. Like if I'm going for a kind of really sleek, sophisticated look, this works. If I'm going for something like more bohemian in the summer, then this works. If I'm going for a cozy winter coat and over the knee boots, this works. It's just the bag that goes with everything. So for me, just the best luxury investment that you could possibly get. And I just couldn't miss it out. I know I've said it before, but I couldn't not say it again because it's amazing. <laughs> Luxury staple number four is a pair of sunglasses. Now, just because it's not summer, it doesn't mean that it's not gonna be sunny. And sometimes in the winter, I feel like the sun is even worse because it's low down. So you need sunglasses actually even more. And whilst there are so many really stylish and nice high street sunglasses options, I really do not think you can beat a designer pair of sunglasses. They just look so much better and I can't really describe what it is. But when I first tried these on in LA, both JJ and I were like, Oh my God, they are the best sunglasses I have ever seen. I am not just saying it, I've had so many pairs of cat eye sunglasses in the past and these are just superior. So these are my Tom Ford cat eyes. I can't remember the exact name of the sunglasses, but of course I'll link them down below. They come in a beautiful velvet case and they are just magnificent. A bit like the boots, they instantly add 50 style points to your look. They are so sleek. I think sunglasses color and style all depend on the person. There are lots of different types of frames and shapes that suit different faces differently. But for me personally, I love a cat eye. I think it's flattering on my facial structure and I just love how timeless and elegant they are. Very Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's vibes. With these, I went for the brown tortoiseshell because I think it's a little bit softer on like blonde hair and fair skin than black. And the gold on these are like slightly kind of blush tinted, which I just think is beautiful. And they are just the perfect accompaniment to an outfit. Like I don't feel complete without my cat eye sunglasses. And I just think they are an amazing thing to put your money into. They're a great birthday or Christmas present because they're designer, but they're not as expensive as buying like a coat or even a pair of boots or a bag. It's kind of an entry level purchase and a great way to start your luxury wardrobe. My fifth and final luxury wardrobe staple is a beautiful classic winter scarf. I think a beautiful high quality scarf is the perfect finishing touch to a look and again like everything else can totally elevate and up the style game of your high street outfits. My favourite are the Burberry scarves. I have two. The first one I got was the camel one which is like the classic and mine is monogrammed. This is my Christmas present from JJ. These were like a big craze a few years ago. I feel like everyone was getting these but I do think they stand the test of time because love it or hate it you cannot deny that this Burberry check print is iconic. It's been around for decades and it will be around for decades to come. I love the pattern. I think it's the perfect balance between instantly recognizable but not too obnoxious. And like I've said for everything else in this video, if you get them in really easy to wear, versatile colors that will go with everything, you will really get your wear out of them because you can pair them with so many different things. And it really depends on your wardrobe. It doesn't have to be a super neutral, typically versatile color. If you know that you have a lot of a certain color in your wardrobe or a lot of a certain kind of color group and tones, then for example, you might want to go with something like pink or blue or yellow, depending on your wardrobe. If you know that you're going to get the wear out of it, like I knew I would with a pink scarf. It just adds a fabulous touch of glamour to your look. But seriously, if you were wearing just a plain black or white like polo neck top from Primark or M&S or something and then just like a high waist camel skirt say from New Look or something and then throw this over the top and then suddenly the whole thing looks like it could be from Burberry. It's all in the accessories. Now demonstrating in pink then with the bag and the boots and the coat and the best thing about it is this part of the outfit you can interchange with anything, with anything affordable and then when you have your five staples you're always going to look the business. That's my favorite new saying, JJ keeps laughing at me, but I just love saying this is the business. This is the business. It's just a good phrase, I'm into it right now. So guys, they were my top five luxury autumn winter staples. I hope you found this video useful and do let me know if you're going to be doing any luxury shopping of your own. Don't forget everything will be linked down below in the description box. The best thing about all of these is you only have to buy them once. How many times have I worn that goddamn Chloe Drew bag? A thousand. How many times will I wear these over the knee boots over the years? 
thousands. So I personally think that it is justifiable spending a lot of money on things that you know you'll wear for a very long time and you'll get a lot of wear out of. Don't forget that I will be with you every single day next week for my autumn winter haul week 2019. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you then. Bye!